you own a smartphone, but uh, which is the best one? HTC, iPhone, or Windows 7? Um, to be honest, I've never actually really used a Windows 7 phone, oddly enough, um, but I've heard they're really good. Um, out of all the smartphone choice, though, I personally would use an iPhone. Uh, I just find they're the best, they're the sleekest, their software is pretty good, and obviously you can jailbreak it, you can unlock them, which is quite convenient if you if you want to get uh, a slightly cheaper locked phone and then unlock it. I mean, that's a convenience. Um, and obviously, jailbreaking is quite a big thing that they constantly get updated, so you're not just sort of left in the dark with an old operating system. Uh, I've also had an Android phone, and I found it quite tinny. Um, it's it's uh, a little bit sort of can I say open source and unfinished? It didn't feel as solid as the, uh, didn't feel as stable as the iPhone. Um, I found it crashed, crashed quite a lot. Uh, I didn't wait for it to, uh, for a new version of Android to come out because uh, it just seemed forever for anything to happen on Samsung. It was a Samsung Galaxy Ace, and it just seemed forever for anything to ever happen, and no updates for or nothing, even from the word go. The iPhone update their software quite regularly on a monthly basis at least and um, yeah it just feels finished and it feels professional uh, you have got the benefit of the Android having all the extra apps and um, things that are, a lot of the apps are free I did find a lot, quite a lot of the popular games were actually free if you actually went through the through the provider of your phone um, I get but again there are a lot of apps that are free on the app store for Android a lot of them were free uh, but saying that if you jailbreak your iPhone, you can pretty much get all the popular apps for free anyway. So you've got nothing to lose. Apart from, obviously, if you do jailbreak your iPhone, you do sort of void the warranty temporarily whilst it's jailbroken. But there's nothing to say that you can't sort of restore it back to factory settings. Um, obviously, you've got to know what you're doing because sometimes it can come up with error codes if you don't do it properly. If you, for example, if you changed a baseband, if you've downgraded a baseband like you can do on the 3G, or you can upgrade it to 6.15.00 on the 3G, uh, you basically you you have to um, downgrade the uh, BB to an older version, and then once it updates through iTunes, it'll upgrade it back to uh, its uh, to a, a locked BB, and then obviously if you wanted to jailbreak again, blah 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 blah. But to be honest, the 3G is pretty much obsolete uh, iPhone-wise. I mean, it's not being upgraded firmware-wise. And um, if you were like me, that if you took a 3G into the shop now, they'd just be like, upgrade, upgrade, upgrade. You can upgrade to a 3GS for this much, or an iPhone 4 for this much, or a 4S for this much. And maybe I should have done that with my broken 3G and might have been able to get a cheaper 4 but I doubt it they probably would have charged me like 300 400 pounds for a 4 anyway but saying that then I wouldn't have the issue of having to jailbreak it in the first place so maybe maybe I should have done that maybe I should just have the convenience of having an unlocked phone in the first place uh, but maybe I maybe I need to work have a little play around with a Windows 7 phone it's obviously difficult being a student I'm not like the richest of people in the world right now I don't have a job uh, but you know uh, if you've got if you've got a Windows 7 phone you'd like to send me you know I wouldn't say no, um, but um, yeah, uh, I need to have a play around with the Windows 7 phone. A couple of my friends have had a Windows 7 phone uh, with HT, I think with Nokia as well. The Nokia one looks pretty good, but the window, the interface looks absolutely amazing. If Apple could, which might possibly happen with the release of Windows 8, might do something similar, they might try and get rid of the desktop. If Windows do it, then often Apple takes takes sort of place as well just to cover their marketplace for tablet machines and things but maybe they don't need to do that because they've got iOS 5 and obviously they've got Lion maybe that's what Windows and Microsoft should do uh, I would prefer an operating system just for a desktop and I really do hope that they fine tune Windows 8 to have an option to turn off that awful welcome menu I think that's I just want, if I've got a desktop computer, why would I want an operating system that's optimised for a tablet? 
Uh, but anyway, that's a completely different story. Uh, but yeah, so HTC, Windows 7 phone or iPhone? Discuss it on the forums. Links to the forum are down below. Uh, subscribe to my YouTube channel. Um, follow me on Twitter. Like my fan page. Again, all links are down in the description. And uh, I hope to uh, see you around. Geek signing out.